Lesson 9, adding, subtracting, and multiplying fractions and reciprocals. When we add or subtract fractions, we have to have matching denominators. Once you have matching denominators, then you can add or subtract the numerators. The denominator stays the same in the answer. And then lastly, you need to reduce if possible. So here's an example. If we wanted to add 1 8 and 5 8 we would make sure our denominators are matching. They're both eights. We add or subtract the numerator. Since we're adding, we'll do one plus five. The denominator stays the same. So it's six eighths. Then we reduce if possible. We can divide both the six and the eight by two to get three fourths, and the answer would be three fourths. Here's another example. Eight and seven ninths minus three and four ninths. So when we have mixed numbers, we're gonna subtract the fractions first. They have matching denominators, step one. Then step two, we're gonna subtract the numerator. Seven minus four is three. The denominator stays the same. And then we're going to reduce after we do the eight minus three. So five and three ninths is the same thing as five and one third. And one more example, five eighths plus one fourth. Well, we have to have matching denominators. So let's change the one fourth by timesing the numerator and the denominator by two so that we have five eighths plus two eighths. We'll add the numerators. Five plus two is seven. The denominator stays the same and we can't reduce. So seven eighths is the answer to that one. When we multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators. And we multiply the denominators. And finally, we reduce if possible. So here's an example. Let's multiply 3 eighths and 4 fifths. So we multiply the numerators. 3 times 4 is 12. We multiply the denominators, eight times five is 40. Then we reduce, if possible, we can divide both of these, the 12 and the 40, by four, and we get three tenths. Another thing that we can do when we're multiplying, let's use the same example we can cancel before we multiply. So you look at the numerators, you look at the denominators, see if there's anything that they um, can reduce by. So here we have a four and an eight. We can divide both of those by four. Four divided by four is one, eight divided by four is two, and then multiply three times one and two times five, and we get three tenths. Same answer, we just canceled or reduced before we multiply. 
Now we're going to talk about reciprocals. Reciprocal is just where you take a fraction and you turn it upside down. So we're going to flip the fraction upside down. Here's an example. If we have the fraction 3 fifths, then the reciprocal is just flip this upside down, 5 thirds. If we take and multiply, the answer to multiplication is a product. So the product of a fraction and its reciprocal is always 1. Here's an example. If I took 3 fourths and times it by its reciprocal, which is 4 thirds, I get 12 twelfths, which is just 1. This is actually called the inverse property of multiplication. If we take a number a, times it by its reciprocal, 1 over a, we get that equal to 1 if a does not equal 0. So as long as a doesn't equal 0, a uh, number times its reciprocal will equal 1. And that's the end of the lesson.